Hey guys, welcome back for week six of our online sessions. I hope you enjoyed the previous few weeks. Um, this week we'll run a little bit different. If you come over here, I'll show you what equipment we need. So um, as usual, we'll need a football. Um, if you can have a book, pair of socks, shoe, bottle, and today you'll need uh, two balloons. Um, if you have a few extra ones, pump them up just in case they burst um, throughout, but hopefully they'll be all right. Um, so how this will work is we'll do our usual warm-up, it'll be a bit shorter than usual. We'll only have about two football skills in today and then the rest will be using the balloons just for a bit of a different session, um, if that's okay with you. So I'll leave football down, we'll get started straight away. So the first thing we're going to be doing today is a new exercise, okay? So what we'll do is you'll put your two feet on the ground, your two hands on the ground, and then you're going to move your feet out and in like this for the whole 30 seconds, okay? Um, try and move your feet as quick as you can and make sure the space that you move them out is really wide. Um, the wider, the harder. So, we are going to go in 30 seconds. We're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So, put your feet out as wide as you can and then bring them in as well, okay? So, we have 10 seconds going already. It's really good. Keep moving your feet in and out. If you can see me, try and go as fast as me. If you can go faster, better again. So we have 10 seconds left. You can probably feel it in your calves now. Be five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. So the next thing we're gonna do, I don't know if you're watching Ireland's Fitness Family. Uh, if you were, you've probably seen throughout the weeks they've done the wall sit, okay? So if you haven't seen it, I'll show you really quick. So put your two feet out. You're gonna lower your bottom in line with your knees. You're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Um, try not to put your hands on your knees, try to keep them either on your chest or down by your side. And we are going to go for 30 seconds, okay? So in this position, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and off we go. I feel like I've already 10 seconds done. <laughs> so hold this position, try to keep your back pressed against the wall all the time, okay? You'll feel it in your your quads here in your legs, okay? So we have 15 seconds done already. So keep holding this position. Try not to put your hands on your legs. We only have 10 seconds left, so good job. Two, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Right, so next thing we're gonna do, we did this a few weeks ago, um, where you lift your knees up, clap onto your knee, up, clap onto your knee, okay? Gonna go for 30 seconds. Again, everything you do, do as quick as you can, and we'll fly through them all, okay? So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. So remember, lift your knee up, clap under. The higher you lift your knee, the easier this will be, okay? So make sure you get the clap underneath all the time. You've 10 seconds gone already. And again, if you can see me, go a bit faster than me, because I'm a bit older and slower, yeah? That's it, we've 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Right, next thing we wanna do is the plank. We did this before, I think. Um, so let's do, put your elbows on the ground, wrists on the ground, two of them down. You're gonna put your two feet on the ground and hold this position again. What I don't wanna see, so our belly's dropping to the ground because it hurts your back. So try to keep up and as straight as you can, yeah? If you need to take a break, just go onto your knees and then get back up again. Yeah, so we are gonna go for 30 seconds. So arms down, we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. So again, try to keep as straight as you can and try not to drop your bellies towards the ground. So we are half a day already. So that's it. if you need to take a break, just drop to your knees, then get up and we will go again. So we've got 10 seconds left. That's it, we're done. And five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Right, so I think we are on, yeah, we're on the last thing in our warm-up. So if you remember, I think it was last week we did bear crawls and we put a football between our legs. Or no, crab box. Crab box, yeah. So we put football between our legs today. I want you to put a balloon. You will have to hold the balloon tight, okay, so it doesn't fall. 
Uh, try not to pop it. If you do, make sure you have spare ones so you can uh, use them later on, okay? So remember, what we do is up on our hands, up on our feet, and we are going to walk around all over the place and try not to pop this balloon, okay? So we are gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. So balloon between your legs, move forward, back, side to side. I'm so scared this will pop. <laughs> So we have 10 seconds, go on. So that's it, make sure you're moving both your arms and your legs. So we have about 10 seconds left. If your balloon hasn't popped, nice job. If it has, nice job. <laughs> we have four seconds left. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Right, so guys, you can drop the balloon for now, okay? Um, like I said earlier, we're only doing two football exercises today, okay? So what we'll do, remember to start, we had a book. The book is just used as a marker. We're going to leave that there. Take five big steps. Two, three, four, five. Drop your other marker down, so I prepare your socks. And what we're going to do, we practiced a pick up a few weeks ago, okay? If you remember. And today we're going to do just kind of flick ups, okay? So for girls, what I want you to do, if you're in first class or above, it's when you're running to go up the ball, pick it up one hand, run, bounce, drop, go around the cone again, pick with one hand, okay? If you're in junior infants or senior infants, all I want you to do is pick it with two hands, run around, bounce, and drop. If you are a boy and you're in first class or up, what I want you to do is try to chip it up into your hand, okay? So if you watch me, you'll see, up, around, bounce and drop. So if you want to flick it up, make sure you get your toe under the ball, okay? If you can't do it, just stay practicing, okay? So we're gonna go for 30 seconds, leave the football in the middle. I'm going to do a mix, okay? So I'll do the two-handed pick up between your senior infants, I'm gonna do the one-handed pick up with the girls, and I'm also gonna do the flick up with the boys, okay? So you just stay doing what you're doing and I'll mix it up, okay? So we are gonna go in three, two, one and off you go for 30 seconds. So if you're in junior infants, pick it up with two hands, drop it. If you're the girls, pick it with one hand, take a hop, drop. If you're with the boys, you're going to flick it up, bounce and drop. I think we have 15 gone, nice. So keep going, pick it up, take the main drop. So you'll fit two more in, okay? So girls, make sure you're going with one hand. Try to change the hands each time. And boys are going with the flip up. Oh God. Lovely. And we are done, so nice. So guys, what I'm going to do is just get rid of this marker here. I don't know if you can see from there, can you, these three bottles. So if you look, I have three water bottles. They're about five big steps from the marker up there. Yes. So what I'm going to do here is just a bit of kicking, okay? So. If you are in junior or senior infants, what you're going to do is just put the football on the ground. You're going to kick it with your right foot and try and knock the bottles. If you're in first class or above, I want you to kick it out of your hands and try and knock the bottles, okay? Um, we have about 30 seconds to try and knock them, try and knock them out as you can, and just see how we go. If you knock them all, nice job. If you don't, that's cool too. Try and use both your feet all the time, okay? So we are going to go in three, two, one, and off you go. So that's it, go get your ball, use your right and your left foot each time. You have 30 seconds to try and knock ah, each of the bottles. Nice. So use your left and your right foot. Nice. <laughs> Is that very loud? <laughs> so we have about 10 seconds left. Try not to mold. I have two out of three. I have one more kick. Yes. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I got three out of three. Um, if you knocked all your bottles, well done. If you didn't, um, don't worry, guys. Just stay going to the them all. Okay? So, next thing we're going to do, two balloons. Very important for us today. Um, something different. So, what we are going to do is, if you are in junior or senior infants, you're only going to use one balloon for the whole day. Okay? So, whatever exercise... I show, if you're a junior infant, use one ball. If you are in first class or above, 
you're going to use two balloons, okay? Unless I tell you we're using one. So, first thing we're going to do is try to keep the two balloons up in the air for 30 seconds, okay? So how it'll work is you'll hit one balloon, hit the other, try to keep both of them in the air for 30 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna go with you. Um, if you drop them, just pick them up, yeah? I'm gonna try my best to not drop them for 30 seconds and my timer will tell me where we're at. So we are gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. So try to keep them up for 30 seconds, using your hands. If you keep them close together, it's a bit easier. You know, I'm not making this look very easy. So are we halfway there? Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> This is going to be a long 30 seconds. So that's it. If you're in junior infants, you only have one balloon. Okay, if you're in first class or above, you have two. Five seconds left. Five left. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Nice job. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, next thing we'll be doing is a bit harder. Okay, so everything we do will get harder and harder throughout the day. This one is, again, junior infants only have one balloon. So what you're doing is hitting the balloon off the wall, trying not to let it hit the ground. <laughs> if you are in first class or above, again, you'll have two balloons. So how it work, you'll hit one, but hit the other, hit one, hit the other, and try not to let them hit the ground for 30 seconds. Whoa, <laughs> so, it's not easy, as you can see. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds, and again, uh, you'll just shout whatever seconds we're on, and uh, yeah, let's go see where we go. So we're gonna go in three, two, one and off we go. So off the wall. <laughs> Try not to let the balloons hit the ground at all. Try to get them off the wall. Make it easier. Ah! <laughs> How many seconds are you on? You're halfway there now. Halfway there, I've already dropped them. <laughs> right, so if you haven't dropped them, nice job. <laughs> right, I'm one down again. Five, five seconds. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Nice. That was way harder than I thought. So if you didn't drop any, uh, good job. I dropped them twice. Um, so if you got better than me, well done. If you didn't, uh, practice those notes. So guys, for this one, um, everyone only needs one foot one. This is just practicing with our knees, okay? So what I'm going to do, or one balloon. Yeah, sorry, one foot one. <laughs> What you're gonna do is hit the ball off your knee, or the balloon, <laughs> hit off your other knee, other knee, other knee, and keep going for 30 seconds, okay? Try not to let it hit any other body part, and we'll see how we go for 30 seconds. So again, first to six, everyone's using one balloon, okay? So yeah, try to keep it on your knees. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. So off your knee, try to use both your knees all the time. If you hit it in the center here, it'll be a bit easier to keep it up. So we're done. We've 10 seconds gone already. This one doesn't seem as hard as the last one. So try not to let it hit the ground. So we're done. We've 10 seconds left. Good job. <laughs> Get very close. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely. So again, if you didn't drop that, good job. We are flying at your knees. Um, next thing we're going to do is uh, really hard. So uh, we're going to do the same thing. If you're in junior infants, again, or senior infants, you're going to use one balloon. You're going to kick the ball up into the air and try to not let it hit the ground. Um, if you are if you are in third class or up, so first and second, use one balloon as well. If you're in third class and up, we are going to try and use two balloons at the one time, okay? Yep. <laughs> that was a bad demo, but <laughs> we'll get there, okay? So we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Turn to six, use two balloons. We'll see how we go. And the rest, junior first, use one balloon. Try to keep it up in the air for as long as we can. Count how many you can get in a row. We're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. So I'd imagine if you kick it up higher, it'd be easier. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll try to use two feet. <laughs> Five second circle. Fifteen. Fifteen. So keep going. Um, I think I might have got about ten there. 
So low, I'll try to start again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Thank you. Eight, nine, and we are done. Right, guys, if you got more than ten in that one, nice job. I did not realise how hard that'd be. <laughs> so again, try, um, I got ten, so if I was to do that again, I'd try to get eleven. So if you got two, next time try to get three. If you got 20, try to get 22 the next time, okay? Um, really hard, but practice loads and loads and loads. Uh, next thing we're going to do, so again, if you're in junior infants, you're going to use one balloon. If you're in senior infants, use one balloon. What you're going to do is keep this balloon up in the air, but you can't let it hit the same body part twice in a row. So if I hit it with my hand, next time I have to hit it with my knee, then I can hit it with my hand again, hit it with my foot. What I can't do is hit with my hand and then hit my hand again, okay? So it has to be a different body part every single time, okay? If you're in second class or up, we are going to use two balloons again, okay? So if I was going with my hand, the thread one has to be hit with my knee, hand, foot, and so on. Again, these are really hard, <laughs> right? So try your best. Again, if you, I got four there, so if I got four, I'm going to try to get five now, can we go for 30 seconds? Can't hit the same body part twice. Yes? We are going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So, if you hit with your hand, next time with your foot, and foot, and knee. That's it, so try to hit with different body parts each time. That's it. Have we much got? Halfway now. Halfway, and I haven't dropped it yet. Nice job. So can I make the same body part twice? Five left. Nice. Whoop. And we're done. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna say I did not drop that once. <laughs> so that was nice. Right, so guys, we're gonna do one last thing before we're done for today. I know this balloon stuff is hard, but it's just something different, okay? So remember I showed you the different objects earlier, okay? So I have a book. If you have a book, this would be great because you can go with how we talk in this video. I have a shoe. I'm gonna put a shoe here. I have a bottle and I have a pair of socks, okay? So you just need one balloon for this. I'm gonna keep the red green Larry, up the reds. <laughs> and how this one will work is this reaction one. We did this type of thing before, okay? So what I'm gonna do is throw the balloon up into the air. When I throw the balloon into the air, person will shout a uh, book, shoe, bottle or sock. I'll touch that object and I'll try to keep it up and then I'll try something different. So I'll give you a quick demo. So I'm going to put it up. Book. Book. Hit it up. Shoe. Sock. And so on, yeah. So that's how we're going to work, okay? Um, really hard. Try to hit the balloon. The higher you hit, the easier this will be. So last thing we're doing, so try to get as many in as we can. Nice. We're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. Sock. Shoe. Book, bottle, shoe, Sit. sock, book, Sit halfway right there, way. sock, bottle, <laughs> shoe, book, nice, bottle, ten seconds left, sock, shoe, Sit. book, five, four, <laughs> bottle. Three, two, one, and I saw it. Right, guys, you can come back to me when you're already here. Because, um, yeah, so guys, that's us done for today. Um, something different with the balloons. I know it was something that was really hard, okay? Um, if the two balloons are too hard, drop to one, okay? And then try to do the two later on in the week. Um, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.